guys welcome in 2020 this is the first video my first video of this decade yes we have a new decade here it's still hard to believe but this year I want to be more helpful and share more videos with you guys to help you really elevate your beauty uh, photography and beauty retouching. And what's the better way to start than sharing five awesome tips with you that will help speed up your retouching workflow whenever you're working in, in Photoshop. Uh, I'm using these things on an everyday basis, they are part of my workflow and they really help me personally and um, I hope they will be helpful for you too. And if they are and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really helps me so without further ado let's jump into photoshop and i'll show you everything so here we are in photoshop and i'll be working with a picture i took a couple of days ago with the beautiful model savannah and makeup done by annabelle so first tip is to split your screen you go to window arrange new window for whatever picture you have open. That will open up another picture, the very same one. What you do next is go again up to window, arrange and two up vertical. Now both of them will show up next to each other. You can zoom into one and start working on it. Whatever we do here should show up straight away on the other one. It's perfect way when you are really really zoomed in and you're reaching and ordering and burning really really tiny things you don't have to always zoom out and zoom in again zoom out zoom in again you can just keep an eye on how it looks like on the in the bigger picture and you can comfortably keep working in a really, really really zoomed in on this one you can move in the window also if you like if you want to have more space i'm using this almost all the time it's it's really really good Next step is to rotate your view. Hit uh, R on your keyboard and you can rotate the image however you like. If you want to reset the view, you just hit the R key again and hit this little reset view button or just hit the S key on the keyboard and that's gonna mo move you back to where you started. And why this rotating view is great because when you, whenever you're working on the hair for example, you can just work this way it's more natural than than trying to like bend your wrists to, to you know copy the shapes or, or something it's really really good and uh, it will make your work workflow and your work less painful for the next step i'm moving on to another picture because i want to show you how to make some visible layer let's say um you are working in a picture and you are 10 15 layers deep and now you want to go move on to liquify or do some other changes that are required to have some pixels to work in so you just create a new layer put it on the top of everything and press alt ctrl shift and e alt ctrl shift e that will make a stamp visible layer without needing to merge everything what you've done um, before and that way you can start working on liquify or mask out and other things or whatever whatever you need it's a great way to help your workflow just remember it's making stamp visible layers so let's say if we were to turn off the color grade and these and we make one more stamp visible layer again pressing alt ctrl shift and e it's just gonna make the layer out of these layers that are visible that have this little eye icon next to them the next quick tip will be uh, making your own actions let's say you are always always um, creating a couple of layers that you're going to be working on every single time or most of the times and you don't want to just do them one by one for example when you're dodging and burning you need a couple of sets of curves adjustment layer to make it work so you can make your own action very simply and that is uh, go into actions in this panel or if you can find it over there go to window and make sure the action is ticked and when you are in actions you click on this new layer and that will create a new action you can call it whatever you want action one is fine and you hit record and then whatever you do we'll just create a black and white layer and turn it into luminosity mode and then just create one more curve layer like this fine just really quickly then you hit stop and if you just delete these two whenever you hit action one and hit this little play button it's gonna create exactly those two layers for you it doesn't matter how slow or quickly you do it uh, important is to not to click on anything else while your screen or your actions are recording 
For tip number five, I want to show you the power of old. For example, let's say you want to see how your before and after looks like. You can just go here on your background layer, hold your Alt key and click on this eye icon. And that will show you how it looks like before. If you click back, how it looks now. It will turn off all the layers except the background layer. Also, if you want to look how your masks look like, let's say we are on the dodging and burning and we want to see how this burn masks look like. Let's make sure the mask is selected and hold your Alt key and click on that mask. And it will show you how your masks exactly looks like. It's great when you for example masking something into the picture or out of the picture and you want to make sure uh, not there's nothing in the corners or you accidentally hit somewhere else you can just go here and then you can do any adjustments with your brushes to the actual mask. If you want to just see back the original pictures just hit alt again and click on the mask again and you are back where you started. And I have for you one last bonus tip and that is customizing your Photoshop. You see I've got this panel on this side instead of this side and I've got all different uh, options here and that's why because I checked in a window, workspace and I checked this photography button. If you don't work in Photoshop often or you didn't know about this, it's probably going to be set as default, which means this bar should be on this side and you're gonna get all these things in here. You can move the bar on the other side. I like to have it on this side because it's just closer, the tools are closer to my layers and I don't have to go to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, whenever I want to switch my tool. And if you check it to photography, you're just gonna get a little more tools here, a rotate view tool, all the healing brush is gonna be separately, you don't have to just find them under anything. This is a little more photography friendly, that's why I have it this way and it works for me. So that is it, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!